What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about something that kind of shows just how big Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is going to be. Now, I've actually talked about this before. I think I made a video talking about or titled, like, just how big can this game be? And I really think for those that aren't prepared for, like, what's about to happen here, you might want to buckle in because I really think this game is going to change a lot of things. I mean, the anime kind of fighting genre, but, no, I expect this game to be a game of the year quality type game. I've been saying that for a very long time. I truly believe, whether it's review scores, whether it's just public opinion, I really think this game is uh, has a high potential to be extremely loved, to be, you know, nominated for all these awards for the Game Awards, but also, I mean, on top of all of that, sell extremely well now I mean I care if the game is good first and foremost but it also helps you know when they finally do something like this right they can get rewarded right they deserve a little bit of love and I think they're gonna get it because I think this game is going to sell outrageously well and, and that's kind of what we talked about before right looking at I think Naruto one of the Naruto games is the highest selling anime fighting game of all time I truly believe Sparking Zero can beat it now you know it might take a little while but I think it's gonna start hot and I don't don't think it's going to slow down all that much. I really, I believe this game is going to get in that five, six, seven million sales, uh, pretty much right away, first month or so. And and I do think it can beat Naruto, which I think it needs to do like 10, 12, 15, somewhere in that range. And I think it can. I really think Dragon Ball can easily cross the 10 million sales. And so I want to look at two stats that are now kind of coming out that that might kind of prove my point. Now, not actual numbers. It's not going to tell you, hey, 500,000 copies of all this stuff but uh from dr love over on twitter dragon ball sparking zero is beating black ops 6 pre-orders on playstation we've never been so back and you look at the pre-orders black ops is uh four and five but the three versions of dragon ball are one two and three so dragon ball literally is a, cl a clean sweep of the top three and the two more expensive versions, and I believe the uh, the 110 version is the one that gets the early access. Those are the top two, $110, $100. And then actually a number three for the poor people, myself included, I'm probably doing that one, is the, the $70 one. But I, I think that should kind of put in perspective. Now, that doesn't mean that there's 2 million pre-orders. It doesn't mean that there's 15 pre-orders. I, mean, I mean, we don't know the number. And, and a one thing I guess I will say not to get too, too excited, but, you know, still stay relatively hyped. Uh, Call of Duty comes out substantially later in terms of, like, the pre-order game. So Dragon Ball is, like, the 11th, but you can get it a few days early if you do, you know, that the highest edition. So you're talking about a game that comes out in a week to, you know, 10 days from now. And COD, you know, being at the very end of the month, I think October 25th or something like that. So, you know, there's a two-week uh, break or gap in between the two. So you imagine the game that is closer to releasing is going to be the one that people are pre-ordering more. But I will say, I mean, like, that's just one way of looking at it. I do want to throw it out just so, you know, you guys know I'm aware of that kind of uh, potential. But, I mean, Call of Duty is so big. It's so big. I mean, it does really, really well on PlayStation. So, yeah, I mean, like, what I just said, if that was the case with, like, just pick a pick a game, just pick a random game, right? If it was Dragon Ball versus a random game, yeah, that also helps. The gap in time and that Dragon Ball releases first. But, you know, when you're talking about Call of Duty, most years... You're talking about a top two selling game of the year. Now this year, I gotta be real. I don't know where COD fits in the top, you know, top two, top five, because you have Dragon Ball, and I think it's gonna do really well. Black Myth Wukong, by the way, is already, in my opinion, gonna be the highest selling game. I that game has already reached 20 million. It's probably gonna get higher, 25, 26, 27, maybe by the time the year ends. So COD, I, I don't think will be number one. Call of Duty also wasn't number one last year, 2023, because of Hogwarts Legacy. Um, and I, I think it finish like top two with like Elden Ring and stuff the year before so you know again we're talking about a top two selling game of the year that potentially is going to get beaten by Dragon Ball and so you know I'm not putting Dragon Ball in the black myth category I don't think it's going to get 20 million but th this is a good sign it's a really good sign I checked Amazon and and at least it was just in the U.S. and it was on all games uh and which includes accessories and gift cards I think Dragon Ball was like number 20 I think it was number three or so when when it was actual discs because 
like the controllers and gift cards are, tend to be like the top three selling things on Amazon. So if you're just talking about games, Dragon Ball is actually in the top three over there as well. Amazon in the U.S. And then actually, if you go on Steam, Steam has the you know their list of the the highest selling, and uh, Dragon Ball is number four. And Black Myth, you see Black Myth number seven, Space Marine two at number six. So you know it, it gets taken up by like Counter Strike and and uh, uh, EA Sports and whatnot. But you know Dragon Ball sitting at at number four has a hundred and four thousand followers. I mean that's pretty good. It, it gets beaten by several other games, but I think this game is going to sell really well on console. I, I don't think that's surprising, right? So yeah, I mean those are just some stats. I mean you don't know the official number in any of these places. It could be hundreds of thousands. It could be millions, to be honest. Or you know or it could be tens of thousands. You don't really, you know, formally know. But the game is at the top or near the top in all of these pre-order categories. So I, I just think the game is going to do well. And I've always said the game is going to do well. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure, as always, you're subscribed to the channel. Bell icon turned on. And I hope to see you all on the next one.